Convicted killer Scott Peterson set to appear back in court virtually today as he continues his latest quest for a new trial, now with the help of the Los Angeles Innocence Project. I see Mr. Peterson trying to unmute. Peterson, now 51, last seen at a hearing a month ago, zooming in from prison, sporting long hair pulled back in a ponytail. Thank you, Your Honor. Right. His new attorney argued for the release of evidence she says should have been made available at the time of the trial. Mr. Peterson has been waiting 20 years to find some of these police reports and audio recordings and video recordings that should have been provided. Peterson is serving a life sentence without parole for the 2002 murders of his pregnant wife, Lacey, and their unborn child. Police say Peterson dumped their bodies from his fishing boat into the San Francisco Bay on Christmas Eve, where months later their bodies washed up. But the L.A. Innocence Project says there's overlooked evidence suggesting they may have been killed by burglars who broke into the home across the street from the Petersons. The L.A. Innocence Project is also pointing to a burned-out orange van containing a bloody mattress said to have been found in Modesto the morning after Lacey disappeared. They want to do testing on a sample of that mattress that's believed to be in police custody to determine if there's any of Lacey's DNA. Former Modesto police detective John Bueller, who was one of the lead investigators on the original case, says he never knew about the van at the time. Do you think there's a possibility that it is connected to this case? I guess there's a possibility, but I think it's kind of like the possibility of the sun rising in the, in the West tomorrow. I, I just really don't think it, it's there. Criminal defense attorney Paula Canny has been following the case for years and believes Peterson didn't get a fair trial. I know he didn't get a fair trial because a fair trial would have been that all of the information would have been provided to the defense. Now, the district attorney has not responded to any of these new claims, but the prosecution says there is overwhelming circumstantial evidence against Peterson, including lying about his mistress and that the bodies were found at the same place he had gone fishing alone. Today, Peterson's family will be there in court to support him, all this setting the stage for a critical hearing next month where his attorneys will make the case for getting that DNA testing. Guys. All right, Liz, thank you. I want to turn to NBC News legal analyst Danny Savalos. Hi, Danny. Good morning. Good morning. This is the first step in a long road and a very, very high bar for the defense team to overcome to get a new trial. What do you think the significance is of today? Well, today is really just about sealing the record. And what the defense wants to do is go and reach out to all these witnesses. But just like the prosecutors do in grand jury proceedings, they want to protect these witnesses because I have no doubt some of these potential witnesses are like, I don't want my name out there mm. in the news. I don't want anything to do with this. you got to protect me. So the problem is that court records are presumed to be public and open. So this is not going to be a walk in the park. They're going to have to make a showing that there's some substantial interest and a really good reason to seal these records and keep the identities of these witnesses private. And if they don't achieve that today, you might see some of the people that they want to bring into court back out because they just don't want any part of this. Some people might be thinking there must be some there there because the L.A. Innocence Project is saying there might be something there. They're looking for this DNA evidence. So is there something there with the L.A. Innocence Project? Well, the, this isn't the original Innocence Project, the Barry Sheck Innocence yeah. Project that was made famous. You know, Barry Sheck was a famous O.J. Simpson attorney, which is a, a timely reference uh, given news of recent. But uh, look, at the same time, these are organizations that do get thousands upon thousands of prisoner letters. I get a lot of prisoner letters. Mm -hmm. So they have their choice to pick up the favorite, the one that they think has the best chance. So there is some significance there. But at the same time, they have a very high bar here. Overturning a conviction is really, really difficult. It's not enough to just sort of raise some new questions mm -hmm. that may have been raised at trial itself. But, I mean, they've raised some things that really have people all across the country saying, boy, I'm second guessing this mm -hmm. now, even though in all likelihood, probably they may have gotten the right guy at the original trial. Okay. Well, all right. It'll be interesting all right. to keep watching these. Thank you so much, you, Danny. Danny. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.